So my name is Tasha Leia and I'm the CEO of Ungaroo Aboriginal Corporation. I am one of the founding members of Ungaroo. I've watched Ungaroo over the years. I've lived in Singleton for a long time, so I've watched Ungaroo for 20 odd years and just in the last nine or 10 years just really liked what they were doing, so I wanted to find out more. At the time, everything was mainstream. There was no Aboriginal services in Singleton. The nearest place was the Muswell Land Council and that only dealt with uh, land rights and very little medical or the needs of everyday Aboriginal people in the Hunter Valley, the Wanneroo people. We started off in a, somebody's lounge room and we started off because we joined an Aboriginal group and after a month or so they said, no, your skin's too white. And we thought, OK, we'll start our own organisation, which we did. It's a very multifaceted organisation. We have a community service program, so we've got a youth support program. We also have the, what's called the ADO and NCAP program, so that's an Aboriginal employment advisory uh, service, uh, and then an Aboriginal business advisory service. And then we've got the medical centre. Well, the Aboriginal community was very reluctant to go to the hospitals. They'd rather see an Aboriginal corporation and they can come in and identify with Aboriginal people. We've moved into new premises now, so um, the old premises was on the other side of town. We're down on the main street and there's been so many advantages to that. Now we're in a really central place, beautiful waiting room things for kids to do and it's important to have somewhere for our people to come and feel relaxed and get treated right and to get good health service. This new place is just a, a, a really culturally appropriate place for our community. The fact of not just giving money out but seeing the change that it can actually impact in community. As an Aboriginal medical service we're setting the benchmark for a standard of, of good practice and that's what we want to do. And so the funding bodies would have confidence in, in us hopefully that, that we deliver on what we say we're going to deliver. Um, and it just creates a, a wonderful space for community to, 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 come, to come to. I'm really proud that Ongaroo is here. We've been through a lot for the last 25 years and I hope to be, keep going strong for another 25 years. We've come a really, really long way and I'm very proud of where we are now. I can only see it being a huge success because it already is. The way that it's supported by community, it already is a success.